Okay guys, so we ended up buying a school bus. It was off of Facebook Marketplace because yeah. my mom was moving into it because she is now officially our nanny starting now. which Granny is nanny. Granny nanny. That's what my mom calls her. That's amazing. <laughs> we picked up this bus and it seemed like it was really, really awesome. I had a horrible feeling from the moment you pulled in the driveway with that thing. <laughs> but it turned out really, really great. So we're gonna take you on that story journey story of the journey story of the journey right now first time filling up diesel i'm actually really curious how much diesel this is going to take because this bus is significantly shorter than our other one this is like 24 26 feet our big bus the one that you all know is 40 feet very different all right, so we got some stuff here to clean the floors and to take out the seats and to paint everything. That is today's goal. Maybe pushing it, but that's the goal. We have to get the seats out first as now well. We're There's no going back. We're in. This is day one of bus building. Day one. Freaking. All right, we're literally on the side of the road because this thing right here just started smoking. Like, it's smoking, so we need to figure out how to disconnect it. Puffs, clouds. Wow. All right, so we just unplugged these wires from this, and we're gonna try to drive again and see if that fixed the problem. Uh, well, that was scary. <laughs> All right, we made it to the property. This is John and Finn's property, by the way. There's our bus. There's our other bus. Wow. Now we're gonna get to work. Oh, mom's here. Woo -hoo! So yeah, we're getting to it now. We're gonna start taking out the seats and then taking out the the awful chairlift that caught on fire as we were driving here. All right, it's official. I am now taking out the seats. Is this all locked? It shouldn't. So, we're gonna get it. We're gonna put this on there. We have a left beat. Alright, now, now. Play, young lady. And, uh. I got it. Alright, now we're gonna shift. I just. Alright. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever. So I can hold you in my guys i need to give a shout out first to chuck thank you chuck for saving our bus when we were driving and we were having like a huge that huge smoke problem i called chuck and he told me what to do i disconnected the wires we're good thank you chuck second of all thank you nanny of the year look at you go she's been helping me do all of this craziness and we're getting so close um, we took out everything. All that's left to do is rip up the floors, which is proving harder because we have rivets in the ground. But anyway, we're gonna try to make a dump run tonight, if not very early tomorrow morning, uh, to get rid of all this. We're getting there, guys. Well, so you remember me telling you that we had a hard time with our floors and we have shows every night and we're driving like three to four hours every day. So we don't have time to tear apart our floors. So, and they're also too hard. They're really hard, I'm weak. So what do you do when you're weak? You call in the big guns. <laughs> Jessica from the Paint of Buffalo is here with Liam. And uh, while we're doing our show tonight, I'm gonna help out for a bit before I have to go to the show. Bye. But they're gonna help rip us this floor out for us. And we are so grateful. And we have our awesome anchor. When you also don't have any power or any outlets or anything yet to work with, then anchor is just awesome. So we're able to use that for all of our tools. Tell them to call me, I keep emailing them. Yeah, Anchor needs to oh. call Jessica. <laughs> okay, so I thought that these, inside these metal lock thingies, um, they were rivets, so you can't just take out rivets, right? Jessica just told me that they're actually star bits, and I have a million of them. You're welcome. Hey, hip cockpit class. Did you watch my video about, uh... Come to my heart. Do 
Nobody does it like Jessica. Okay, update time. We ended up not getting the bus. Uh, no, we got the bus. We did a lot of conversion to it, but we just could not get the tracks out. We tried everything and we could not get the tracks out. And it was gonna take a lot more effort than it was worth. And we're literally traveling and all of my mom's belongings are in that bus. So every time we wanna work on it, we have to take them all out, convert it, throw it all back in. This is while driving four hours a day and doing gigs every single night. Um, so that's just not possible right now. And so we kind of bit off more than we can chew. However, we found another bus on the way that was already converted, already move in ready. And so my mom is now moving into that and she'll be traveling around with us and watching our kids for a while. Right now, my mom is moving into this rig. I'm gonna show you some videos. And our friend Jessica is actually gonna do a little bit of conversion on that short bus that you saw earlier. And we're gonna probably sell that split the proceeds with Jessica. It's gonna be super great, but here's the new bus. So it's perfect, it's cozy, it's just what she needs. This turns into a bed. These, uh, these cabinets come open and this whole entire thing pulls out into a bed. And then I think what we're going to do when we get to Boise here, let me put that back in. When we get to Boise, we're gonna, it already has a water inlet. So we're gonna put a tank under here. So it's gonna go all the way across here. We're gonna put a water pump here and a little tiny sink right there. So, I mean, it's cute. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun.